right, Lane, so today we're going to do a little demonstration here. It's called elephant toothpaste. And what we're going to use for that demonstration is hydrogen peroxide. Now, do you know what's in hydrogen peroxide? Yes. Hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen. Now, the interesting thing about peroxide, we think of our... Here's, here's something that you see a lot. It's called H2O. And that's got hydrogen and oxygen in it. Do we know what that is? Water. That's water. Okay, but hydrogen peroxide has a chemical formula of H2O2. So it's got the same elements as water, but the molecular makeup is a little bit different. It's got that extra oxygen atom. And the thing about hydrogen peroxide, if you get it in high concentrations, it's very unstable. It likes to give off those oxygen atoms into oxygen gas. And that's what we're going to do in this reaction. So the first thing that we need to do, I'm going to measure this out and I'm going to let you pour it in. We need, let's get about, oh, 50, 60 milliliters of peroxide. You ever use hydrogen peroxide at home? Okay, a lot, a lot of people will use it for like cuts and scrapes and things like that. The kind that you would buy at the store, that's 3% peroxide. What we have here is 30% peroxide, but I'm just going to have you pour that into our big graduated cylinder there. Right, and that's why we're wearing our gloves, because this can burn your hands a little bit if you get it on. And we're going to put our safety goggles on, because this reaction is going to uh, foam up a bit when we get it finished. Don't want to get anything in our eyes. And we're just going to add to this, we're going to add a little squirt of dish detergent. Let's swirl this around. And then what I'm going to have you do is put maybe about, oh, five, six, eight drops of food coloring in there once we get this mixed up good. Go ahead and add some food coloring. Okay, so we've got some peroxide, we've got some dish soap, we've got some food coloring, but now we need a catalyst to make this reaction happen. We need something to make it release those oxygen atoms. And what we've got, this is called potassium iodide. And I'm just going to let you, whenever you're ready, pour it in quickly. Make sure you're not standing right over it. Let's just watch what happens when those react. <laughs> All right. So what we have, you see it foams up, right? It comes out. A lot of people call it elephant toothpaste because when it comes out, it kind of looks like toothpaste being squirted out of a tube. And now we've got this nice foam. You see it's giving off. The smoke here, it's actually steaming because the reaction is exothermic, which means it gives off what? Heat. Gives off heat. All right. And what's happened, as those react, it causes the peroxide to release the oxygen gas, but the dish detergent in there is going to catch those oxygen bubbles and it's going to give us this nice, foamy elephant toothpaste. 